to this point, but boy, you and I down there with them before the game, they were fired up. And they understand how important this game is. Win this one, they can start to think about a turnaround. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Seahawks, they're in a real groove of late. Winners of five of their last six games. And the offense last week, they had things humming. If you're a defensive player, you may get overshadowed a little bit, but you're really buoyed by what your offense is doing. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five yards with a new rule as he's taken down right at the 20-yard line. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. They'll be led out by their 5'11 quarterback from Wisconsin by way of NC State, and that's Russell Wilson. He's always been an incredible decision maker on the field. Takes care of the ball really well, puts his team in the right positions, makes sure the play calls are accurate. Also was a minor league baseball player. Didn't hit very well there. I think he made a great career choice picking football. Here's Thomas Rawls with his first carry. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Give the tackle there to Gerald Hodges. See if they stay on the ground for second down. They go again with Rawls. And he'll be taken down right around the 27. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line, lower than the defensive front. They moved him and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. They run with a power back, Rawls. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Well, throw on first down with Wilson. And this is going to be incomplete. The intended target, Doug Baldwin. That'll bring up second down. Second and 10 now, Wilson. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. He was looking for Thomas Rawls there, and it's third down. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. And able to find Graham, complete. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. On first down, Wilson. Catch made right side by Wilson. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Throwing again here, Wilson. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. Third and two, now Wilson. He finds his man, Baldwin. Give him 30 yards there. First down, this is Rawls. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Thomas Rawls, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Seahawks take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. And they do exactly what they wanted to. Opening drive, they get into the end zone. They do it on the ground. And not only is the person lugging the ball happy, of course, because he got it into the end zone. How about the offensive linemen and receivers who are blocking for him? They have to feel great about themselves sticking in the end zone on a running play. And this will give the Seahawks a 7-0 lead. 
So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's Thomas Rawls who finishes it off with a touchdown run. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. This is taken near the 13. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. They'll be led out by their quarterback who played for the Nevada Wolfpack in college. It's Colin Kaepernick. And when he's at his best, Colin Kaepernick epitomizes what most people are looking for in a quarterback nowadays. Not just a guy who can throw it, but a guy who can be a big part of the run game and really break down defenses. First carry for Carlos Hyde. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Defense in a good spot. Let's see how the offense responds with a second and 13 now. And the offense there, the O-line, everybody really on offense, they were just manhandled at the point of attack. Yeah, you could pretty much call them all out, couldn't you? <laughs> Almost by name, right? That was a very tough sequence for the offensive line. But how about that defensive front creating a new line of scrimmage and creating a lost yardage possibility? Second quarter now. Brandon God and Charles Davis with you. It's the 49ers in control of the football. They do, however, have a tough third and long coming up. Kaepernick now on third and goal. And able to find Curley. And he's brought down after a good game. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. So he makes the grab and the chains move forward. Nice job by the offensive line giving them time to complete that first down pass. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Kaepernick now on first down. And his throw is incomplete. Torrey Smith, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. There's so much precision in an offense, especially when you're throwing the ball. And in an out route, plenty of it. How about the quarterback hitting his back foot? Balls out of his hands. Receiver making his break, making his cut. He's got to time up perfectly. Not always easy to do. Just let him a little too much. Yeah, I remember back in the good old days, I was talking to a quarterback, and he said everything they did was on the count system. So when he took the snap, he counted it his head for certain routes, different time frames for each one, and he knew if the ball wasn't out of his hand at that point, he'd better eat it because the play was dead. So they go out of the gun, try to delay it on the draw, but nothing there. Yeah, good play by the defense there. They sniffed it out and made sure there were no gaps for him to run. If you're the offense, though, you have to think to yourself, maybe I go play action down the road. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. So on fourth down, out comes Bradley Pinion to punt this one away. Back deep for the Seahawks, the all-pro returner from 2015, Tyler Lockett. Now it's Lockett. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field, and they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right, to be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They've had to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. On second down, Wilson. And Graham's got it over the middle. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets them a new set of downs. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back to more NFL action on EA Sports after this. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Larry Ridley in Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. Wilson to give to Rawls. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. 
And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On second down, here's Wilson. It's caught outright by Graham. And he's brought down. And 15 yards there on the catch and run. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Now a play fake here on first down. Out to his left. They find some open field here. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They'll get 19 yards there. And it'll give the Seahawks a first down. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. So here we go, first and 10 now. One receiver left, two to the right. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. Escaping the pressure right. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. Call it a three-yard gain, and that'll bring up second down. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position is to actually utilize more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it. But he's a bigger, stronger guy, maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put Yeah, in. didn't get the big yardage there you might out of a smaller back. This is Rawls. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. They'll try to run with Rawls. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Thomas Rawls, his 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here of the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and carry it into the second half. And it's good to make it 14-0. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. This is taken about seven yards deep. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk is a big decision here. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. Easy, easy, easy. Back to the air on second down. It's Kaepernick. It's hauled in by Torrey Smith. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Kaepernick now on first down. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Second down following the incompletion. They got pressure there and only rushing three. And there's a defensive coordinator right now who is celebrating not just getting home with three there, but realizing it. that's the type of... Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Again, it's Kaepernick. Into a double team and it's intercepted. A great read and it's picked off. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. 
And he may want to track down that football because that's interception number one on his career. You're saying that's going into the trophy case? I'd put it there. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's when you ask the equipment guys to make sure they hold it for you after the game. But if you play in the back seven on defense, that's part of your job, finding ways to take the ball away from the other team. The 49er defense now heading back out there. And despite being down on the scoreboard, this unit, they've had some big-time hits. Sort of like us at practice the other day. <laughs> I saw you take a running start at that point. To the interception, here's Wilson dancing to his left. Six yards on the pickup, and it'll be second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. On second down, Wilson. And this is caught on the sideline. But no, they'll say out of bounds. He caught it, but was not in bounds, incomplete. Well, there's times when you see these catches that are made, and we just know the guys playing it are really wishing for college rules. Only need that one, one foot, foot down instead of two. It's awfully difficult on the sideline, isn't it? So the offense needing four yards, it's third down. From the gun on third down, Wilson. He finds his man, Baldwin. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now Wilson on first down. He hits Jermaine Curse, And he's going to be out of bounds down inside the 20. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. And this is no good. Close, but he misses. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. And this will remain a two-touchdown game. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. And they're definitely showing blitz here. Following the penalty, it's high. And he is going to lose yardage here. He lost two there, and it's third down. Partner, I think the easy thing now would be to just abandon the run and start throwing the football at all costs. But I've been in so many games where it doesn't work running the ball, it doesn't work running the ball, and then something pops, and now you get something going. I'm not so sure that you just abandon your game plan this early in the second half. Able to find Harris complete. And he's able to get this one up to the 45-yard line. They convert on third with a gain of 22. 
So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. They go play action for Hyde. Now Kaepernick. Curley's got it complete. And he eventually goes down, but not before reaching the 30-yard line. Well, they've been struggling in the passing game. Do you like the aggressiveness there? I mean, it worked on that play, but do you like it? I do because a lot of the time you're struggling because your passing lanes are clogged. That usually happens when you're throwing the ball underneath. People start to press up on you. Push them deep. Find some space and open things up again. Being aggressive there, I think, will pay off for them. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really... They've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we hit the fourth and final quarter. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. Into the red zone now. Kaepernick throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. here this is Mike Davis oh look at that oh, look at him turn and able to get him down but he does reach the five it's a 10-yard gain there and it sets him up now first and goal what a game this defense has played they're pitching a shutout so it'd be fun to watch down the stretch to see if their defensive coordinator continues to be as aggressive as he's been all game long hey, 99, 91. Shotgun snap now for Kaepernick. This will be caught just inside the 10. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. Six yards still to go here on second and goal. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. From the gun on third down, Kaepernick. And this is going to be incomplete. Maybe a final chance to get on the scoreboard here. This is fourth and goal. 91. Now Kaepernick, got to have this one. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. And they put it in the end zone, which was job one. Now they have to convert. 
And then it's decision time, isn't it? Yeah, so this is what all teams go through. You look at the clock, you're inside two minutes, look at your timeouts, make that onside kick decision. Yeah, how do you feel about your defense, where you are in terms of the scoreboard, and the time left on the clock, as you noted, so many things to go through. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. So that drive spans 13 plays. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. After the touchdown, it's Dawson on to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. <laughs> And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they have to feel like they missed on an opportunity for points last time when they couldn't connect on that short field goal try. And no doubt about it, because they were counting on those points. In today's NFL, let's go. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Rawls, the lone man in the backfield. He's going to get the football. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. Second down following the run. They'll come out in the pistol. Oh, Wilson going to throw. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Pass interference, defense. So pass interference, partner with all the rule changes, it is hard to be a defender in the pass game. Brandon is tough in college. It's a lot harder in the NFL. You can't touch him after five yards downfield. You can't touch him while the ball's not in the air. You can't touch him at all until the ball is at the receiver. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Luke Wilson, his second touchdown on the season. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. It's good, and it is now 21 to 7. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it all culminates with a Seattle score. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. This will be taken about the 12. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. And now the 49er offense ready to go and getting back out onto the field. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch up, every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field. Punch it in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but when they do have the win for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, gave up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back for our own offense? Is it more pressure? Is it more zone? What do they have to do? They're trying to figure that out themselves. We'll see if they can figure that out right here. First and ten. Here's Kaepernick. He dumps it to high. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. It's a gain of seven. And that'll make this a second down. And quickly they get to the line. On second down, here's Kaepernick. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. 
And inside the 20 before he's brought down. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Defense showing blitz. And with the clock ticking under 50 seconds now, he spikes it. So second and 10 here. are going to take a timeout here on defense. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. Monday, Monday. Kaepernick now on third and goal. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. All right, Charles, as a former defensive back, how disheartening to actually catch it but just not be able to stay in bounds there defensively. Well, extremely because you know the rap against us defenders is that we're frustrated offensive guys who can't catch. And he caught it, just couldn't get his feet down in bounds. It's that second part that finished off the play for him. Took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Hey, 91, 91. Hey. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Finding time. He's going to let it fly. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that'll be just about all she wrote for this one. Well, they had to take one final shot at the end zone, but now things are looking really bleak. And I agree with that totally. You had to take the shot if they did score. You know, whether you call it a miracle or not, you line up, onside kick, get the ball back, throw one more in the end zone, who knows? Had to take the chance, it just was unsuccessful. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. Holding offense. So he got his hands a little too far outside. The ref caught him, threw the flag. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They come up in an offset eye. Wilson wants to throw it. He's going to float this one deep right side. And it's knocked away and incomplete. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to fly, just sending a guy downfield with the in route accompanying it. What people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. And a timeout here. Timeout taken. Whistles blown. Timeout taken by the receiving team. It'll be their third and final timeout. So as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Here's Ellington. Now on the return. Oh, no. The ball is loose. And the seat. He's got daylight. Past the 20. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou Country would say, that's a little land, yeah, a little extra on top. And that score should be the proverbial icing on the old kick. What kind of cake? I go white cake, peanut butter frosting. I like the way you think. And I think they may celebrate with exactly that cake when this game's over. I'm going down to the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> now the final act of this victory, the extra point. 
It's up and good, and they add one more to what will wind up a fairly lopsided victory. So we had action to the very end of this one, the score on the final play that they didn't need to have. They didn't just run out the clock, though. They added to their final total. Played it all the way to the end, and you know some coaches preach that and tell their teams, that's what I want all the time, and they feel like if they don't do it themselves, they're not living up to the message that they're sending out. So for the Seahawks, the win means they'll finish in double digits at 10 and 6. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the Niners, they're going to bottom out here to wrap up this very forgettable season at 2 and 14. And they'll get the extra week to think about this one as they return to action in two weeks' time. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Santa Clara.